What the fuck? God fucking damn it. There it is. Ugh. Pain in my ass. Systems, update systems. Where hogs and where locks, update two. Oh, there's the cable. No, that's not the cable. That's that's a phone charger cable. Motherfucker, type in brilliant. Anyways, we're going to continue on with our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Nuzlocke run. And God damn it, I know I'm fucking screwed. Okay. How are we moving forward? Right. So we gotta find gym leader guy if I remember correctly. What's up, Lex? Right. This is what we got going on here. I'm okay, I guess, but I know I'm about to be in for a lot of stress because now I'm playing Nuzlocke. Ah, oh, shit. I already defeated all the gym, gym uh, all the trainers down here. It's just a matter of finding the gym leader now so I can access his gym. Okay, I haven't been in this part yet. Once I get to the end of this section, I should be able to find the gym leader and take on the next gym, which if I remember correctly is a steel themed gym. Which will in fact kick my ass.
I lost Armageddon, my Bibarel, which means I'm now relying on the intimidation capabilities of Tootsie to carry me through. Also, over leveling. Next gen is gonna kick my fucking ass. Unless. Unless. It all comes down to hatching that egg and getting it up in its levels. Because that's a Ryolu. That will become a Lucario. That's a Graveler! I'm swapping to you! Check your summary, you have higher physical attack than special attack, but Gravelers have higher defense. It probably also has sturdy, so fuck it, I'll use Surf. Woo! We're fine, we're good! Four times weakness, let's go! You're a problem. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start leading with Woohoo because water in this place is full of Pokemon. That not only you know ground type attacks, but explosion. And I don't want to be fucking ruined by an explosion. Also level 30 now, so they should be able to keep up. So find that stairway right there then. Nothing over here? What the fuck? <laughs> Fucking ale. Aqua sail. Well, 
want to get that perfect accuracy hit now. Drown the bat! Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. It most definitely has sturdy, but this surf is still gonna absolutely wreck it. Didn't have sturdy? What did it have then? Pokemon, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, good. A non threat. That's a problem for my speed, but eh. I'm gonna have to use a super potion after this. And you're out of here. <sighs> Iron Tail. That'll be good for later. There's nothing here. Get me out of here. Let's go, my people need me! I guess he doesn't spawn here yet until I uh, try going into the gym. So I could just walk in there and he'd be triggered. I was wrong. Oh, so very wrong, I suppose. Great. Whatever. Come on, Gregolus, we need to go. Oh, I thought he wasn't here. Shit. I'm not ready. I'm going back to that island to train. And hopefully by the end of the night, I'll be taking on that gym. But I need to insert that I have enough high level Pokemon to deal with it. Which means I need the Ryolu.
Doesn't seem close to hatching. Wait a minute. Shit. You don't have flame body. Damn. You have early bird. Damn. Yeah. His bronzer has levitate, not heat proof, which means I can open with a fire type. I don't have to open with a fire type. Then we go into Steelix, Suez, Steel Ground. They have great physical defense, shit, special defense. And they have Thunderfang. If I swap to Woohoo against them, it will be all done and over. Then there's Bastiodon. Using either Fight or Ground would be the best bet. It has great defenses or special defense. Not very good attacks. I could just keep on Quagsire. If anything, I should give him a ground type attack. Or I could just teach someone a fight type attack. Which I will soon, I will have a fight type to use. I need to hatch that egg. That is the goal here, hatch that egg. Hatch that egg and then make sure everyone I'm playing with you is, is close to level 40. 79 are up. Library. I'm gonna run into the library so the egg hatches. Hello, lone nerd. Story time up here. Sin myth. Yes, let's read it. Sin myth. Betray not your anger, lest will come. Weep not with sorrow, or will come. Will draw near. When joy and enjoyment come as natural as the very air, that is happiness. Let such be blessed by the hand of Master. So we said, our Sinnoh Regions Mythology. Would you like to read it? Yes. Sinnoh Regions Mythology. Long ago, when Sinnoh had just been made, Pokemon and humans led separate lives. This is not to say they did not help each other. No, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. A Pokemon proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. And asked that Pokemon be ready to appear before humans, always. Thus, to this day, a Pokemon appear to us if we venture into tall grass.
Three Pokemon were here. In the lakes they dove deep, deep, drawing no breath. Deeper, deeper they dove. To suffocating depths they dove. Deeper than deepest they alight. From the lake floor they rise. Bearing with them the power to make vast lands they rise again. This book is titled Vealstone's Myth. Would you like to read it? Sure! Vealstone's Myth. A young man, callow and foolish in innocence, came to own a sword. With it, he smote Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree abandon. He murdered a bunch and then ate them. Those not taken as food, he discarded with no afterthought. Dude's violently killing shit and eating some of them, then discarding others. Bruh, that's how you become a demon in most stories. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Larders grew bare. Would you like to keep reading? Oh, so people did it! This literally proves, like, doesn't this one myth alone that Pokemon are food? And yet Game Freak wants to just deny it whenever asked. Or the Pokemon company does, at least. Point is, book right here says, Larders grew bare. We ate Pokemon. We ran out of them. Would you like to keep reading? Yes. The young man... Seeking the missing Pokemon journey to far, long did he search, and far and wide too, until he did find one. Asked he, why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, if you bear your sword to bring harm upon us with claws and fangs, we will extract the toll. Exact toll. From your kind, we will take our toll, for it must be done. Done it must to guard ourselves for it, I apologize. Would you like to keep reading? To the skies, the young man shattered his dismay, and having found the sword, I have lost so much. Gorged with power, I grew blind to Pokemon being alive. I will never fall savage again. This sword I denounce and forsake. I plead for forgiveness, for I was but a fool. So saying, the young man hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it. Seeing this, Pokemon disappeared to a place beyond seeing. Hello, child! Sucks, I guess. Anyways. That island is a good spot to grind up levels at the moment. I may as well head back there. Um, uh, maybe. Before I think about doing anything else, I at least want to get the gym badge tonight. Now, as long as I'm appropriately leveled, this gym should be easy. Stalking a ground type gives you pretty much everything you need. I already faced up against every trainer, so it's just going to be... Doing this till the egg hatches, and I level up that way. Well, yeah, that's fine. Definitely before I end the stream, but I do want to get the badge before I do like anything like that. So we'll wait and see. And okay. Oh, look, Stealth Rock. Oh, look, sir. Oh, yeah. I really wish I had a Pokemon with a flame body in my team, but I do not. I mean, look, cannot switch or escape. 
cool. I can surf though. Oh damn. What Pokemon will hatch from this egg? It doesn't seem close to hatching. Surf again. I should definitely get rid of Haze for another type of attack. So, first chance I get. Thank you, Zakaro. Right now we're just grinding up, though. Generally speaking, I have a bit of a mixed bag going on with my team. Woohoo is definitely going to be my creme de la creme for dealing with the next fight once it learns a ground type move. If it learns a ground type move. We'll get rid of Splash. Really though, what I want is that egg to evolve and then I just do a bunch of battles here until it's within the appropriate level range and then boom, I have a Lucario. So, pretty much we're just trying to run out time. Really not the best, but eh, what can you do? It's a Nuzlocke run, there's always going to be these dead spots. But hey, the more these uh, Gravelers and other things use Stealth Rock and Mean Look, means the less HP I lose. So that's always. Ha 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 ha! Get wrecked! No exploding for you! Oh shit, I forgot I have these items in my inventory right now. I should probably be using them. Okay, uh... When the egg hatches, I'm immediately making it chug this HP. I should make Tootsie hold the shell bell. No way. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, no, no, no. Tootsie will be continuing to use Thief just to fuck over, like, major opponents. That's what I'll do. Okay.
Sticky Barb definitely has some tech, but I'm certainly not using that tech in a Nuzlocke run. Too much room for self-destruction. Silver Powder, not useful here. Poison Barb, not useful here. This plate will be good after I hatch the egg. All right. As high damaging as Aquatel is compared to Surf, the Golbat. Hmm, Golbat's really the only thing worth hitting with the Aquatel at the moment. That bit of healing is good. At least until I get leftovers. All getting that high level. Use Surf here on the Gravelers because it's weaker, but they have four times weakness to make up for it. Also getting a lot of physical defense IVs out of doing this. Gravelers, Onyx, and everything like that, they give you a lot of defense, but the uh, Golbats are going to give me speed. So technically training here is going to be best suited to keeping me alive and then helping me outspeed things, IV wise. But not by much. I mean, with this knowledge in mind, it means I could actually do a lot of good farming here for when I want to do Gen 4 leveling for other games and whatnot. Which honestly may be the case. Every game that can connect to Pokemon Home is now a resource to boost in the next game that also connects to Pokemon Home. Which is a good thing, but it still annoys me for some reason. Yeah. I can't really place why. Probably something to do with how underwhelming this game was. After all, I can't transfer items in the trades. Which is really one of the huge benefits to like transferring back in the day. It also transferred the item the Pokemon was holding. At least to an extent. It was very useful. It meant I could get. Like. <laughs> I had this uh, tendency of absolutely fucking blasting through Pokemon Sapphire. After I had already beaten it once. I was like, cool, I beat it once. I have everything I ever need. Then I got a DS and a fourth gen game. I could then transfer my Pokemon up to the fourth gen game. And then there was nothing stopping me from restarting Sapphire. And now, because I already knew where the Master Ball was, 
after a simple afternoon, I was able to get another match ball after restarting Sapphire, transfer that up, have as many match balls as I would ever need in 4th gen. So I would always have an easy time catching things once I hit the uh, transfer area. I was able to transfer in Pokemon and shit like that. Which, I haven't been to that area in this game yet, so I wonder how they took that. Like, what's over there now? That will be interesting to see. <sighs> Fuck. Doesn't air could have like a high crit rate or something? I don't remember. HP. Tootsie is even more over leveled now. They're a whole six levels above the strongest in the next gym. I'm gonna get carried by a cat. You know what? Fuck it, I need this egg to hatch. Up and down the route, just like the good old days. Anyone else remember having to go up and down this stretch to hatch eggs? While also waiting to get new eggs, because Pokemon Daycare? Oh, man. Huh. You know, that actually makes me wonder. Uh... Hmm. Okay, if you're watching right now and don't want to talk about Scarlet and Violet, here's your warning to the moose. That way nothing's spoiled for you. But I'm, I'm curious how things are going to change now 
and the uh, new egg obtaining system. Is there still going to be a daycare? That's uncertain. But they have established that during, at the end of like using daycare things, then they can have picnics. Since there's now a picnic function in the game, which is of course replacing Pokemon camps, which we understand that there's always gonna be something like that. In one generation we have Pokemon and me, and the next one we have this, and then so on and so forth. There's always a different way of interacting with Pokemon, and possibly creating some sort of food thing. Every game has their own version. So I'm guessing what's going to happen in this one is uh, there's just a random chance of finding an egg. It has nothing to do with the Pokemon you actually have, it's just a random ass fucking egg. Which is interesting. It means people are going to be possibly able to always have eggs. That may or may not have like rare things, you know, stuff like that. Will there still be a daycare? Will there still be a breeding program that we can raise competitive bonds like usual? Or will we have to use the older functions in older games? What's up, turtles? Because if there isn't a breeding function with Scarlet and Violet, that means I'll have to resort to using the daycares in previous generations. There's two daycares and Sword and Shield, so okay, two daycares in that, and then there's a daycare in this game. Of course, I'll really only use the one in Sword and Shield. The only downside to that being I won't have access to newer Pokemon from the latest generation to put in that game for breeding. Which, of course, is like a big question. How is that going to work? I'm hoping they're just like saying, by the way, your Pokemon Ami thing will now give you eggs. And it's not just speculation of them taking away the daycare. That way it levels the playing field between competitive and casual players again. Forcing the game to be less competitive despite the fact that the game is competitive as hell. <sighs> Egg, are you ready to hatch yet? For fuck's sake. Yeah! Posture check. Hydrate. I light my message. Oh. Okay. I will hydrate and I'm sitting upright. I'm no longer in gamer stance. My spine no thank you. But yeah, the egg's gonna hatch soon, which is good. Very, very good. I'm gonna have to get my own emotes soon. I wanna get a bunch of coconut themed ones. Maybe I'll make them in uh, Microsoft 3D Paint. Like, all I have to do is take a basic coconut image and do other stuff with it. Like, animated to have like a little angry thing, star, notes, stuff like that. Like, you, you know, the basic little symbols. Okay, come on, hatch, 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 hatch. Zakaro, you have won a shiny. I forgot to turn off the uh, shiny giveaways. Oops. Let me. I I forgot to turn that off. Let me turn that off real quick. That's not supposed to be on during this. That's only when I'm playing Sword and Shield. Apologies. No shiny Pokemon tonight, turtles. No shinies tonight.
That's only a sword and shield thing. If I was doing shiny giveaways, I'd say it in the title. I forgot to turn off the giveaway. Alright. Timers. Disable. Alright. And we're back. Okay. Come on, hatch. Come on, hatch. Hatch, hatch, hatch. Hatch, 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 hatch. I wish to have a fight steel type. Please hatch already. Dude. God, this egg takes forever. Well, at least you can see my current team up in the corner. I guess in a way that's kind of nice. It means I don't have to have an overlay showing off my team. And any second now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Woman Rider is the best hero. Don't you dare talk shit about him. I don't want you disparaging his name at all. He is the best hero. Egg. Egg! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Why do you have to ruin such a beautiful moment? <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Mm. <sighs> Watch your check. Yes, we're naming you. It's a boy! Naming him Ricardo. No, 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 no. Wait. Oh, no. Oh. Damn, damn it, you redeemed a name generator. No, I have to now. Ricardo it is. You. Ooh. You... Did I just skew it up that? What the fuck? Ricardo Lonely nature attack up defense down. That's not good I Like spicy food Kind of wish he didn't have a lonely nature
Okay, Ricardo, drink this now. Oh, wait. Or, actually, does he already learn it? Drop the cable. Don't want that on the ground. Might get rolled over and crushed. <laughs> Let's look at Lucario's learn set via evolution. It appears the only way I'm going to be able to have it have Drain Punch is, in fact, the, uh, another stage here, so, well, that kind of sucks, but, hey, look at what I got. I'll still be able to get War Sphere, which will be cool. I don't know if it, wrong controller, I picked up the wrong controller. It levels up with friendship? I forgot about that. There. Now, we're going to go train him. After saving. Wait, not here. Not here, not here, not here. I wish I could skip this animation scene. Like, it's cool that they have it. I wish I could skip it. foggy down there, huh? On the spot weather. Cutie Lakefront has been badly hit by a brutal blizzard. It's one of the only things the weather helps finding rare Pokemon and use extreme conditions. Be sure to dress extra warm, blah 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 blah. Alright. And now. We're going to watch a Pokemon level up a lot of times.
Level 14. Excellent. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Gonna move for Metal Claw? Yeah! Get rid of Quick Attack. You don't need Counter. Self-destruct. Nope. Now suffer the poo water. Fighting all these Gravelers will in fact have one benefit. It will make up for the Lonely Nature's dip in defense. Every two Gravelers I KO gives me two EVs, which correlates to one stat. So hopefully at the end of this I will have a moderately tanky uh, Lucario. Yes, other fight types will actually have an advantage against it, which sucks. But it's dealing with rock and other correlating types like that that are weak to steal that are the better outcome for me. Plus it should also make it a good counter for dragon types. Work up. Increase attack and special attack. Sounds good. Heightened attack. Okay. Pokemon generation boosts the speed stat each time Pokemon flinches. Come on. Ah. Uh. 
There's the fight. Took it a while. So how's everyone else's night so far? That did that much, the Aqua Tail is certainly gonna KO. Kick his ass! Yeah, oh. Kick his ass! Quick guard, like that's gonna help you. Oh yeah, it's cooled off in here now. I can just turn off the AC unit. Ah, it's nice in here now. Nice. Nice and nice in the game. The Carter is now level 18. So you're boring right now, easy peasy? Well, it's a good thing you're watching me. I'm so full of energy. You traded an event Lunala for eggs? Bruh, if you needed a skull of... Oh, wait, you need shiny, right. I was about to say, like, if you needed a Skullipede, I could just trade you one. Like, egg that's already, like, set with the kind of stuff that I use, but... Alright. Y you do need the one for your thing. Slayer is almost level 40. This is good. I need to get him to a decent enough level. For five seconds, missed notes will not be judged. I gotta do a super contest one of these days. They're different now. Yeah, I love these sparkles. <laughs> Valid. Oh, what's over here? Nothing. On it. Okay, so the goal now is... Ba oh, shit. We both avoided each other's attacks! I need to get Ricardo up to around level 25 before I hit the gym, and then I can use the levels of all those Pokemon. Oh yeah! Shiny P.
Notice how much less time the return animation takes compared to the leaving animation. Make them the same length animation. None of that leaving dock time bullshit. Hydrate. Hello, Joyce K813. Thank you. It's that soda, it's Kool Aid. Tasty. We, did, we just hatched a Ryolu from an egg that we got, so we now have Ricardo. And I'm contemplating teaching any other moves around to the team. That may be useful. Low sweep, that's a pretty good one, but nah. Shadow Ball, we can learn that. Slayer can learn Shadow Ball. Might be good, might be good. It has higher special defense than just special attack than it does physical attack, so that is always an option. Brine, yeah. Shadow Claw, physical, ghost type. Hmm, maybe. I mean, that would give it an edge against Psychics, but we're, we're not going that far. We're using Pokemon for what their types are already good against for maximum efficiency. We're only using something that can try and take on everything at once. And Yamato is only in the team at the moment for like, in case I need to use another water type. They are a backup water. Though really considering, uh... Yeah. Hmm. That's at level 40 to even evolve. Toga Hacks is useless in the next gym battle. You have Fireproof, which is... Well, considering the circumstances, a Levitate one is, like, significantly better. Instead of just having resistance to a type, Levitate ones can entirely are immune to a type. So Levitate Steel type is immune to poison and ground. So yeah, there's that. You're immune to ground, which is good for you, I suppose. And I have two of you. One that I caught on Tuesday, so his name is Tuesday. Hmm. Let's just get Ricardo up and level, I guess. But I would rather swap out Yamato. Like, I got them up to level 26, so they won't be entirely useless in case I have to swap. And Beticula covers a lot of other types. Uh, all the ones I have with good typing have shit defense in the worst possible way. Double team? Ugh. So it'll just be hard to hit? Are you still using, uh, 
Are you still using uh, substitute? Don't want to double up on steel type. And as much as I'd like to use Togepi, their hustle ability is just fucking awful. <sighs> hmm. I'm gonna try something. Ugh. Both of them are bad. I could just run a mono. Already have electric. I either have defense boosting or absolutely shite defense. That's what I've noticed. As much as I hate your nature, Toga Hacks is still, like, good. For their typing, at least. Anyways, we're about to deal with Route 219, because I'm curious what the fuck is over there. Where's Route 219 on here? Where the fuck is Route 219 on here? There it is. Two, three, yes, Wingle. What do I name you? Forget a move for Rock Smash.
Here's your chance to redeem a name, guys. If you have a thousand points. I don't know who else would. Hmm. I can't check how many channel points someone has. Damn. I'm thinking... Mm, what's the name of the pelican from Finding Nemo? His name is Sheldon. Wait, it says Sheldon period Nigel. His name is Nigel? Why does it say Sheldon there? That's confusing. Nigel it is! Add to my party? Or send to a box. Add to my party. Or I already named them. H how do I refund that? I already named them when you said not Lugia. You know Lugia is not water type, right? Shit. H how do I refund this? There's gotta be a way to do it from chat. God, that website's just full of fucking ads. Well, I'm about to tank the stream in order to give him his thousand points back. Alright. Oh yeah, let's tank those frames. Fuck yeah.
All right, now we go to my thing, click over here. Come on. Load up, you... I really wish it wouldn't try loading up fucking stream feeds. Fuck! Let's get the hype and shot, baby! Jesus Christ, you're loud. Alright, now I'm back in the creator dashboard. I can go to stream manager. And I can hopefully refund your reward here. Your rewards. Channel points. Review request queue. And refunded. I will admit, though, Bagel is clever. Yeah, that's why I don't like that Twitch auto loads up a feed the moment you go on the front page, and it has fucking sound to it. I have to fix that on my end at some point. I don't even like that they're loading those things up immediately, it's just making the whole page take longer. No one wants to sign in and be fucking ear raped by a, a streamer yelling. Like, goddamn. We expect the ear rape after we've already settled into the stream, not before we've picked one! <laughs> anyway, I forgot to check his nature. Nigel is quirky. Wing attack, water pulse, agility, and supersonic. He is another water flying. It's not horrible. Ah, oh, shit, I didn't time that right. Now it's not a double battle. While I'm here, though, I should probably start slowing back Tootsie and uh, have easy times with all the fights. Trainer battles always get more EXP anyway.
You know, I think right there I might have been able to trigger a glitch. Might have. Not guaranteed. Alright, Shellis is mod on water in its current form. It doesn't gain ground type until it evolves into Gastro. Extra EXP for defeating a trainer Pokemon. Alright. Excellent. The ancient power you said. Well, we'll give you a rock type move. Shit all special attack though. Endeavor for that. Cool. I wouldn't trust swimming out here late at night. Too many Sharpedos. Oh yeah! <sighs> A Medicham! I'll be fine. This is gonna give me a lot of EXP though. And now we're gonna electrify the beach. Oh yeah. <sighs> Alright. Making good progress so far. Soft and cruel. Protein.
Drink this, Ricardo. Oh shit, that was a separate route I was on when I killed that tentacle. Luckily it was a dupe, so that means I technically have two more tries. Second try. On the next one, I have to catch it or I get nothing. I should have been paying more attention. I, sh <laughs> I thought I was still on the same route. Oof. Last chance. Guess I'm catching another tentacle. Great. No one redeem anything on this one. It's just an extra tentacle at this point. Jelly head. Excuse me, timid nature? Jelly Head's actually good! Like, that's stupid good, actually. Holy shit. Lex still lurking? Nice. Now we're on Route 221.
And let's see what it is. Gastrodon. Because I've already caught a Shellos, this technically counts as a dupe. So that means we have a few possibilities to catch something else. I do, however, need to switch because I do not have a good type of match, uh, type matchup against this. Though I am 15 levels above it, so... We'll just bite it and see what happens. Shit, that works. Alright. Two more tries. Show me a Pokemon that's level 61, I'll reward you. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen, old man. Collector Romana's Park. Let's start writing to you guys before a collector like me. Shut up, you fucking weirdo. I don't even know what's at Romana's Park. That's not good. Alright, we're gonna debuff that and swap. Thanks for the free special defense. That sucks. I don't expect it to be able to do a lot of damage to me. Come on. And that should be a good chunk healed. Nice. Dude, a three hippopotas. I expected a good outcome. You really just hoping I didn't have a water type or a grass type? Holy shit. 
Perfect. You are not being a nasty little boy. May as well get whatever levels I can out of here. I still have two chances to capture a Pokemon, don't I? Yeah. And now we both intimidate one another. So considering Shrink, Shrink, Shinx is a common enough Pokemon, that means in the center region there's just fucking lions roaming about. Ooh, Giraffe Rig! Bruh, you're gonna like when the next generation hits. Get that. I'm not worried about it. Honestly, uh, jelly head sounds like to be a lot more useful. Like, woohoo is great for dealing with explosive Pokemon, but I hopefully won't have to go back to that Iron Island anyway. So that's become a bit of a non-issue. Second attempt for a new one. Uh, oh, fuck. So this is how they do me in. Fine, I'll catch it. I don't want to, but I have to now. Fuck! Hey, Roosevelt was fucking tatted to hell. What? <sighs> well, I've just caught the bane of my existence. Who wants to nickname it? The 
It's a girl. Stream delay should not be an issue in the next 10 seconds. Or just about. I did redeem those points to Zakaro, so we should have enough to do a name on it. Well, anyone have any options? Really, Teddy Roosevelt was absolutely covered in tattoos, huh? Hmm. I feel compelled to name it Jupiter. Roosevelta Roosevelt uh, The Velta part sounds kind of weird to be really honest. Can we just name it Rose? Alright, if you're gonna give joke names like that, I'm naming it Rose. Smelly Rose. Smelly Flower. What nature is Rose? Relax nature, they have defense up, speed down. Not horrible. This means I'm currently doubled up on dark. Hmm. The only way I'm going to not be doubled up is if I put in one of my flyers. But none of my flyers actually have good stats is the thing. Which is quite annoying. So having a toxic Venoshock skunk tank later on will be a good combo. And it has high physical defense because you're to relax nature. So hopefully it'll be a good tank later on.
the other downside to uh, my totepy is uh, because I'm always playing at night, the chance of it evolving is like slim to fucking none. Because it only evolves in the daytime at max happiness. If I don't use Quagsire... Hmm... Instead use Nigel... Then I'll still have room for something... After swapping him out. If I swap out Slayer for Braeburn, I'll have room for, for Dark type again, and then I could have in Rose as a Dark Poison. Very coverage. <sighs> I can't end up using that. If I'm using Water and Flying, I may as well use Gyarados, so I may as well have the auto back in. They have Intimidate. Summary. By releasing stench when attacking, this Pokemon may cause target to flinch. Heightened flinch chance? Bruh. Bruh. That's actually a plan. Every rose has its thorns! <laughs> oh, taking the time though, I actually need to hit the A. I got a morning shift tomorrow. So I guess no gym battle tonight. But I owe you a battle, easy peasy. So uh, tomorrow, I'll boot up uh, Sword and Shield. We can have a battle and like I'll do more shiny hunting. Sound good? And in here is a Happini. Still haven't hashed it yet. On the side of my nose. Yeah. Yeah, here we are. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna find someone to raid now. Kinda stunky. I'm gonna make sure my stunky is better than Jupiter's. Cause I gotta at this point to avenge all of my fallen brethren. I also hate the freaking psychic gym leader, she can burn hell. Right, tomorrow's Saturday, anime and shit. Well, whatever, you're in my Discord. It doesn't have to be on stream, but I can still battle you while watching anime.
That's always a possibility. Anyways, let's find someone to raid. Before I, uh, log off, so we gonna raid out. Let's, uh... Ooh, let's raid Regeneration Nation. He's currently online. I gotta raid him anyway. Raiding out to Regeneration Nation. Like, follow, favorite, subscribe, on whatever platform you have been watching on. Bloody Blade Live. Please subscribe to my YouTube. Hats off to you, everybody. Oh, he's about to raid me. Don't raid me, bro. Don't raid me. I was about to raid you. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, we both... We both about... Okay, me and Regeneration are both about to raid someone. Alright, 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 alright. Uh... Yeah, no, coincidentally, he's here to support. <laughs> oh, how what a coincidence. He was about to raid me, and I was about to raid him. Oh, we're going to raid Trippy Phoenix then. Okay. Raiding Trippy Phoenix. He's playing, uh, Call of Duty. So everyone show them some love. Love. Oh. No, oh, I spelled his name wrong. Oh shit! Oh fuck! He loud. <laughs> 